I think Napoli, Bayern Munich, Chelsea, PSG, wherever he's been offered so far, they will all have to answer those questions. And I think the answers are quite, are quite easy in a way. No, Cristiano won't help you much, help the team much. He doesn't do much for the team with or without the ball. We saw that with Manchester United last season. However, if you just want him to convert the chances that you create for him, if you want him to be that finisher and that's all you're asking him, then he will do that. But is there a manager right now in a top, top European club who just wants his centre forward to just do that and nothing else? I'm not too convinced. Is this a profile, the kind of player that Chelsea could need for next season? Why, why would you not need a guy that scores goals? Mm. What, do you, what do you think Romario did? You talk about one of the best goal scorers that ever played the game. Some people like Gary Lineker. It was one of them. You know what? Stay away. Get yourself in the box and we'll get you the ball. I mean, because 24 goals, you stick 24 goals on top of Chelsea mm -hmm. and you're going to tell me that the coach doesn't want it? That's madness. They've got, they've got 10 other players who absolutely will be able to create chances. And Cristiano showed last year, regardless of his age, that he still knows where the back of the net is. So why would you turn down? And by the way, that's 24 goals in a bad team. How many is he going to get in a better team? I, I, don't, I don't understand. If they've got the money and they've got plenty of it and they can do it, I don't see why they wouldn't do it. And that's on the field. Merely off the field, if you're a new ownership and you're toe bully and you come in, it has to be incredibly tempting that they put Cristiano out there for you and you go, wait a second. It changes the profile of the team. It changes the profile of the club because it is Cristiano Ronaldo and because... All of our eyes will be on Chelsea. They were going to be regardless, but now it multiplies. Now it's exponentially superior to that. Cristiano Ronaldo moves the needle, right? Anything that he does. We've sat here in this show and talked about Cristiano Ronaldo's celebration flexing his abs. That's how meaningless the conversations can be about Cristiano Ronaldo, and yet it moves the needle. So if you're a new owner, and you see this as a possibility and something that it's real and tangible for you, man, it's going to be tempting to turn it down. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.